Hello and welcome to the AWOL screencast on how to access your AWOL mail account. As you can see, we're going to start here with just a regular email page. At this point, you will have already uh, clicked on your Firefox browser and came to the uh, internet environment. What you're going to do is click here in the URL button and you can see it all highlights blue and you can click delete. And what I want you to type in to get to your AWOL mail account is mail dot AWOLmail dot com. You do not need to put in the uh, www for this. This is how you're going to access your account is simply typing mail dot AWOLmail dot com and clicking enter. Once you click enter, you'll come to the AWOL uh, access point, AWOL mail access point here. Here you'll click for your username, which you would have already been given. For me, it's the Jordan. As you can see, my uh, computer is remembering what my username is. You can uh, actually make it do that. It will give you an option. Uh, my, uh, I've also asked my computer to save my password, but for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and type in my password. Once we're done with that, you simply hit sign in. And we come to your email box. Now, for a small guided tour around your email box, here on the left hand toolbar, you'll have your inbox. You'll also have the ability to compose messages, clicking here. Uh, stars mail is mail that you have deemed important, and you can click and put a star on it. You have your sent mail, and you also have drafts. Maybe you have started an email and haven't quite finished. Google will save that for you. Your AWOL mail is powered by Google. You can see the Google symbol down here, powered by Google. Um, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to compose an email and send it. So we go to compose, and you can see the little hand comes up. I'm going to click there. And we're going to put it on your mouse automatically goes into the to box first because it automatically knows that you're about to send an email. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in um, an email address for a friend. And for me, I'm going to put in Mr. Jordan and his email address is tjordan at awallmail.com. As you can see, Mr. Jordan's address is already coming up because Google once you've emailed a person once, it begins to remember those persons you often email, so that's a great uh, service to have. Here in the subject line, we're going to put what we want to talk about in this email. And we're going to just say I want him to pick up the kids. And here, down in the subject bo in the box here, where you're going to put the text is what you want to put in your message. type your message and once you've got your message typed in you can go ahead and go to the send button up here and click send and your message has been sent as you notice up here Google gives you the option to view the message to see what it looks like just to do a double check we'll view our message And there we go. This is exactly what has been sent. You pull down your details here. You can see what who it was sent to, the date, what the subject was, and you are done. And that concludes uh, how to access your email, your AWOL mail uh, via the, the internet, and how to compose your first message.